This game is rated T for teen, but the commentary? Well, that's a different story. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space Remastered. This is episode 3, part 2. <laughs> Sorry folks, they couldn't come up with a better introduction than just that, so <laughs> that's all you're getting. I just want to quickly say, I'm going to put something down in the description below, just to explain why I cut it to 25 minutes short. So, yeah. I may have... <laughs> I quickly should have fucking said this when I had to pause the first time. Jesus, holy fucking Christ. <laughs> um, if I have to look on YouTube of how to do certain parts, it's been about maybe 10 years since I last did the original played this. I played the original one, and long story short, I don't really know what I have to do for it. I know what to do with episode 2, so unfortunately... I know what to do semi through this. Let me stick them back in there and let's see what happens. Okay, I can throw it up here. Something smells good. I'm proud we found a non-violent solution to our problem. Yes, ripping the brain from a freshly buried corpse was the start of a kinder, gentler Sam and Max. Next. That'd be us. Hmm. Very well. Have your IDs ready, please. <gasps> Do the voice! Yes, sir. Welcome, creatures of the night, to the zombie factory. <laughs> that was just fucking perfect. To the zombie factory. Seems to be some sort of zombie discotheque. Discotheque? <laughs> Welcome to the 80s, Sam. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> Do I smell new blood? <laughs> mm, you are the new DJs, I presume. We're Sam and Max, freelance zombie hunters. Ah, oh, yes, the bit players from the Midtown Cowboys. Bit players? We're the stars! Stars? <laughs> Please stop, you'll make me to giggle. <laughs> oh, look at me, I'm so edgy and subversive. Only Herr Fesserly is truly acquainted with the darkness. So what's your story, Emo? I am Jürgen. I am not surprised you don't know me. No one truly knows me. And this is my army of the undead. Hmm. With every soul I take, my army grows larger. Oh, I did not just reveal my master plan. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Back, foul monster! We're here to put a stop to your evil scheme! Yeah! Cut it out with the zombies already! Stop me? <laughs> so many others have tried. That is, how you say, played, yo. Now you must excuse me, for I am away to dance! I never knew vampires were so... fruity. Not all vampires, Max. Just the European ones. So that's what he is. I <laughs> just wanted to do this because I want. I remember Sam and Max obviously dancing. Right. Let me take a look around this place. It's been a while. Am I the only one that's a bit. not weirded out, but confused that he sounds like a queen? The Scottish would say. That's odd. Somebody dropped a typewriter ribbon. What good is that? What we really need are healing herbs. I don't know if I might need that for later. So it obviously seems that it's all the area you can explore. Right, let's talk to him. Excuse us, Mr. Vampire Prince. Uh, we're here to destroy you. And everything you stand for. Have you learned nothing? <laughs> you can never destroy me without destroying the source of my power. 
Where is the source of your power exactly? Just curious. Yeah, we just want to look at it. Americans! The source of my power is not something you can buy and own. It is my style. The zombies love me because of my rhymes, my moves, my staying always on top of the latest trends. A style is the only thing that is truly immortal, apart from vampires, which I am also. That explains the cigarettes. Hmm. He sounds a bit queen, but at the same time he's also dramatic, so... <laughs> I, I don't know, it's complicated, folks. So, you're big fans of Midtown Cowboys over here? Yeah, it's Deutschland's most popular program. All the young people in the gymnasium wear the t-shirt which read, You probably hide the cow. <laughs> Her family's world is eternal confusion and pain. I appreciate the show on another level, of course, which is why the zombies love me. New location unlocked. What was that? You haven't heard the newest club hit, New Location Unlocked? Oh, you are so tragically unhip. Have you just been watching the same repeat of Midtown Cowboys all this time? You're just hearing the same jokes over and over again. Yeah, but like me, Herr Featherly adds something new each time. That is why the zombies love us. Not to pry, but are you having a grand mal seizure? Get me a belt so I can put it under his tongue. <laughs> you clumsily refer to my dancing, I presume. No surprise that you do not appreciate my moves. But my people recognize me as Uberfly. Witness! Yeah! <laughs> See that? That is power, my American friends. You call that dancing? If my sciatica weren't acting up, I'd show you some real dancing. Oh, you don't know how lucky you are, Jurgen. The sight of Sam trying to dance! Oh, the horror. Your empty threats bore me. Now, be gone, so my zombie posse and I can rock this house party to the break of dawn! You dance like a flounder just pulled up on deck. Flounders aren't as sickly pale as this guy, though. Ja, ja, whatever. My people know who's got the moves. Jürgen does! You know, for a master of style, you don't seem all that great. Yeah, you're just kind of dated and mopey. I don't get the thrall. Well, my zombies know how late it is. I speak to the bleakness of our existence. Winner of MTV Bavaria's most doleful lyrics competition for 270 years running. You've got a castle and a zombie army. What have you got to be down about? Yeah, we're at least twice as miserable as you are. Would you like to prove it? How do we do that? Every night is open mic night at the zombie factory. You may try your pitiful best to win over my audience, and then I will assault them with my freestyle melancholy, and they will continue to be in my thrall. How do we know you won't cheat? I never cheat. Yes, some of my rivals have been found with the blood drained from their bodies, but this is mere coincidence. Oh, it's on. Oh, very well, but I always emerge victorious. I gather one could say, it's in my blood. <laughs> He's doing it again, Sam, being all Euro freaky. Don't let him psych <laughs> you out, little buddy. Let's show him how the real goths do it. What's with the banjo? I'm going for Southern Gothic. My let me see. Unfortunately, this is the only one I could find. Rock and Sundance like were party, party pokes. My name is um. Count Flipwin Deathgrass, and I'm coming up uh, with a different name. DJ Rabbity Fang. And we're gonna kick it out awkward style, yo. We're the freelance grave robbers and we're ready to go. Oops. Uh, Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is the part I really need help with, folks. Sorry. Um, rock and Sundance, like with Parker. P Oops. See? We're rocking! 
and Sundance like we're Pac Capozzi. We got more rhymes than you can beg, steal, or borrow. Because we're the good guys, H-E to the R-O. We're protagonists. You bloodsucker MCs best get out of our way. Oops. Just don't want, just in case if it's on a timer, sorry. Um. Okay, so with Max, it's the top one. Because you're flabby and pink like a salmon filet. Rich and Omega-3. Peace out. <laughs> Pathetic. You have all the street cred of white 30-year-old video game programmers. Oh, Christ. Ouch. Now, take a listen to how far it is done. Oh, Christ. Bleeding wounds self-inflicted. Baleful morning hackatai. Witch queen nurse has no antiseptic. Bandages cover scabs of despair. Yay! Yay! Oh Christ. Okay, let's fucking try this. I am not fucking doing this fucking thing ever fucking again. Come on. Uh, <laughs> do I want to throw another fuck in there? <laughs> okay. Um. Country wind death grass. Fuck it. Hey, Jorgen. Meow. Max and I want to challenge you again. We'll prove we've got the bleakest rhymes. Ready, little buddy? Hit it! My name is, um. Count Crip Wind Death Grasp. And I'm. Uh. Baron Bat Anguish Von Nightmare! And we're gonna kick it out awkward style, yo. We're the freelance grave robbers and we're ready to go, see? I hate doing this. I am very sorry. <laughs> Wait, was that the top one or was it? Top one with Max, then, uh, excuse me. And top one and third one was Sam. We'll knock you out deader than Bella Lugosi. We got more rhymes than you can beg, steal, or borrow. Our world is endless torment and sorrow. Despair! You bloodsucker MCs best get out of our way. Talk about dramatic effect. Cause all creation ends in death and decay! Entropy, G! Weep, children of the night! Yeah! 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 What?! You have managed to impress my brainless zombies. No matter. I will still defeat you most easily. But first, an energy drink. Hey, no fair! Ah, to taste the blood of one who believes he has beaten me. <laughs> it is... Energizing, intoxicating. Our world is endless torment and sorrow. All creation ends in death and decay. Bella Lagos is dead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, you just stole our rhymes. It was not what you say, but how I say it. I am smooth like coffin of velvet. How the fuck am I supposed to? Ugh, I freaking hate this episode. No, scratch that. I just hate the rhyming part. The episode's good. The fuck's sake. Shame about that. Sounds to be false to this Sorenian. Come on. Come on.
<laughs> much like Stinky's food. What exactly do you? Maybe that's what Stinky's. Maybe that's what the sun. Stinky sunlight's for. That. No walks and no chimney. Hmm. Okay, I freaking. It's the spotlight for the zombie stands for. There's got to be a way to reach it, though. There's nothing in there, so... Wait, was there something over here? Why do they always have bottles of water at raves? Because of all the drugs, Sam. Then we better take one. Just when you thought things couldn't get any better. Undead fish. That's actually pretty cool. God almighty, do I hate this shit. Do I drop the beats? Press them in order. Ready to drop some fat beets or something? Nah, I'm okay. I went before we left. So, just going through all the buttons. Oh, oops, uh, I think I know what to do, shit. Pain, torment, pure energy, desire, sub-zero, sepulcher, embrace, death. Misery. Succubus. Parents. Letters. That last one didn't make any sense. Abyss. Blood. Razors. What was that thing I saw in the coffin? Uh, is that... Right? There's some poetry inscribed on this coffin. My dark mistress longs for death to return to her velvet sepulcher. Her only passion, the void's embrace, or else she'd reply to my letters. That's poetry? I didn't say it was good poetry. That could probably work. Let me check. I fucking hate doing this. Wait, what? Oops. Uh, piss off. Wait, that actually go- Can I open My this? My dark mystery her or- Wait, can- Wait. What exactly opened it? Because it's just shown that the coffin opens. So- Okay, so since I've read that, I need to go back to here. Can't see. Death. Specular. D. 
death. Sepulcher. I hate doing this shit. Embrace. Okay. Embrace letters. Embrace and letters. Embrace. Letters. letters. Yes. Look, Max. Jeez, Sam, I saw it open. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> right. I think that's what I had to take that Stinky's light. I can't see a thing. Is that your hand? Oops. <laughs> Sorry, little buddy. <laughs> Is that your hand? It's the spotlight for the zombie's dance floor. Wait, do I change the light bulb? What happens on? Yep. Vampires are weak to the sun. What can I actually do? Okay, go all the way back here and wait. Can those cigarettes be used in the ceremonial urn? Wait. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so I now know what to do. Oops, not the ink ribbon crap. <laughs> it's not even on, Max. Right. Vampires hate light, garlic, and the stake through the heart. Christ, I hope. I may actually. Mind the swinging razor sharp pendulum! What razor sharp? Ow! That wasn't here before. Oh, so Jurgen's the only one who's allowed to redecorate? <laughs> it's, uh, watch out for the swinging pendulum. What? Ow! Oops. Take the cigarettes out of the... Christ, I hate them. There's a pack of garlic clove cigarettes in here. Right. Time to head back. Leaving, are we? Wait, TV studio. Yeah, let's head back home. It's weird with its little road underneath the castle. As much as I would love to have pimped out the Desto, Desto. Fortunately, it'd be a fucking nightmare. Use that bottle of water with that and have Max drink it. Ugh. Excuse me? Wait. I didn't... Holy crap. <laughs> and people said a slab of curiously shaped rock couldn't be vice president. Jesus Christ, there's still the fucking hole from episode one. This is Sybil. Could you please tell Honest Abe that I'll never speak to him again in my whole life? Ever? Even if I'm being dragged through the streets by wild donkeys? Thanks. Damn, she pissed. Let's see if she's got more. It's Sybil. If you see Mr. Lincoln, tell him he left his hat at my place. And P.S. He owes me a new hat rack. Maybe I can do a hot challenge by eating him. Sybil again. Tell what's his name that I haven't thought about him in months. And oh yeah, I've got men falling all over me. Eat that cheater! Okay, thanks, guys. <laughs> Just 
Sorry about that, folks. That's going to be the next chap. Pop. That's going to be for the next episode where I'm going to eat something hot and. Wait. Saw it on. Can I? Wait, hold on. Do I got to look out the window first? Someone's setting up thousands of dominoes across the street. Talk about way too much time on your hands. Says the guy watching someone set up thousands of dominoes. What? <laughs> Oh, my 11,000 domino chain in the shape of Jar Jar Kapoor! <laughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ. Sim, sim, salabim! It's the place where High Priest Max takes his holy baths. Oh, Christ. Ah, I tell ya. This place just isn't the same without Jesse James's hand. Don't worry, I'm cloning a new one from the fingernail clippings. How do you like being High Priest of the Ocean Chimps? I tried taking confession for a while, but everybody kept getting annoyed with me. You're just supposed to listen, Max. It's not a contest. Let's get back to work. Hey, you're Excuse the me. one who started chatting with me. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, folks, I'm back. Should have sat down first before. Oh crap! Oh, fuck's sake! Where did that go? Oh, there it is. Right. Do I give drink up, Al? Mmm. Tastes like righteousness. <laughs> right. What's next on the agenda? Why do I keep saying that? Go to the Warp Studio. Ah, oh, crap. So, obviously, going back to the studio. Jesus. So, obviously, it looks like it's got to be some. I need to find a way. So, go to the TV studio, but not. Blah, blah, blah. Don't really need to be doing this shit. I fucking hate doing this crap. Conversation, blah 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 blah. Yada 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 yada. Don't really care. Fuck off with the adverts. Yada 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 yada. Christ, I'm going to cover myself up since I'm freezing my tits off. Man tits up. Okay, so, screw it. Wait, is this just, um...
Okay, so just head to the studio. Sorry, folks, but I just don't like doing that kind of crap. I may consider just cutting it to three parts, unfortunately. I was thinking, screw it, I'll go for two. Zombies. Wonder if I can actually destroy shit. Hey, cops. We just want to pimp our car. <laughs> we no longer offer car upgrades. Our income has been lower than previously forecast. But this neighborhood has the highest accident rate in five states. We have spent a lot of this year out of town, Max. Oh, right. So we've devoted our resources to developing the ultimate online experience. SOL. After all this time, you're not offering any car upgrades? None at all. We regret the inconvenience. There's a new invention. It is much too dangerous. Intrigued? Go on. It's the super high-powered antenna for wireless internet access while on the road. There are problems. Using it could result in catastrophic electrical failure and spontaneous explosion of your vehicle. We see. And what are the problems? I'm going for that fucking antenna. I may conclude it when I get to the studio. We'll take that super high-powered antenna. We spent our entire savings on development. We can only give it to you if you help us market SOL. Take the provided CD launcher and use it to give installation discs to zombies throughout the city. We like marketing. And we love shooting things. I like wearing short pants. Would you like to begin driving now? Affirmative. Initiating augmented reality Holy driving shit, that's sequence. Fun. Okay, maybe I should wait until the next part to do this hot challenge. Hello, and welcome to the Pimpla Car Marketing Challenge. I want to shoot things. Please deliver the magic of SOL to the displayed number of zombies. We'll make mad pink. And you must do it in the allotted time. Oh, Ready, shit. go! Shit, too soon. Too late. Too soon. Too late. Too soon. Too late. <laughs> Oh, shut fucking shit balls. Congratulations, you've won. <laughs> I Welcome. Didn't really think We've that installed your new super high powered antenna. We cannot be held liable for any injury or loss of life. I'm liking the sound of this more and more. Please demonstrate the operation of the antenna to our big winners. Not the light. I don't want to see the bright light again. Very well, you get to figure it out for yourselves. To be honest, this super antenna is like a lightning rod. Where are we for headed, Sam? Uh, lightning rod for calamity. Want to go to the WARP studio? Do I? Can't believe this is going to be three parts when I could have just done it in two. And again. The bigger the file, the longer the upload. Jesus Christ. Finally, you're here. Let's get this started. A very special Midtown Cowboys. Scene four, take one in five, four... Hang on. Ah, I can't work like this. Actors. Oh, fine. Take five, everyone. Just come talk to me when you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay folks i'm gonna end this episode off here as i've reached as my time has just gone off showing that it's about 35 minutes it may be a bit of a few seconds longer just to explain something i'm gonna be doing a hot challenge in the next part which means i'm gonna eat some spicy food food and try not to drink it'll feel like you may hear me mutter about how my mouth's on fire i can't really drink anything 
and it's just tempting just knowing a drink's right there. <laughs> You'll know when you hear it, so thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next... Uh, sorry, in the next one. Nick, over and out.